What's going on, people of the wild, wild web? I woke up this morning and I was like, you know what? It's hump day, it's a Wednesday, and uh, I'm craving a beer. And I'm also craving a hike. And I don't feel like cooking. <laughs> so we're going for a little hike today. We're gonna go do, uh, we're gonna do the, the Chief, a classic. We're gonna do the first peak, the second peak, and the third peak. I've hiked the Chief so many times, but I've never done the second and the third peak. So we're gonna do it today, and we're gonna have a nice cold pine on each peak. Let's get cracking. Let's see you on the trail. First, the first part of this trail always sucks. It's an absolute brute. Straight up, Stairmaster, for about 25 minutes before leveling out. Just an ass kicker. It is a pretty quiet day on the trail, which is nice. Sometimes it gets packed, but it's stairs, stairs, and more stairs. We've linked up with the Third Peak Trail, so that's pretty sweet. Little, little signs, got little yellow markers marking the way. We're gonna do it in reverse. We're gonna do Third Peak, Second Peak, First Peak, furthest spot first to closest spot. This is quite nice. This is a traditional trail, kind of tucked into the valley. The first part of the trail there was practically a stream bed. And now it's getting a little more interesting. We're back on the rock. Looks like someone's actually climbing up. You can see the rope along the, uh, the rock wall here. So someone was climbing that crank today, which is interesting because pretty wet so climbers man get on him the third peak trail is equally as steep as the first peak trail um, it's just a bit more rugged so there's less stairs and ladders and stuff to help you so you're climbing with your hands a little bit up the rocks but nothing crazy very moderate scrambling so it makes it pretty fun this trail is pretty much a whole stream but you know what? It's super relaxing. So we're getting pretty close to third peak, which will be view number one, beer number one. And we'll see how it is. I'll give it a little review while I'm having a beer so we can see today with the same conditions, what view is best. I've been hiking pretty hard, so I'm not really all that excited for a beer. Maybe when my heart rate drops, I'll be a little more excited. So, see so how I'm feeling in about three minutes here as we loop around and get to the big rock at the top. Just about there, just about time for the grand reveal, people. Looking pretty beauty. It spits you out in this piece of rock. You can climb down and over to that side. But I think the trail proper just continues up the rock like this. Here we are, peak one, or peak three, so chief peak three, beer number one. Ah, king of beers, that's delicious. So the views from the uh, the third peak are pretty unique. They're a bit more forested uh, up here. There's a couple more trees. Feels more mountainous. The trail itself felt a lot more mountainous, which was nice, a bit more remote. You got beautiful views of uh, Garibaldi, Diamond Head, just covered in snow. The glaciers are beautiful. You can see Sky Pilot uh, Mountain up there. And uh, and there is the uh, the Sea to Sky Gondolas kind of just over the trees in there. It's a really good view of, uh, of Squamish. And you can see the Garibaldi Highlands. You can see the Squamish River, the estuary. You can see the Mamquam River coming up. Can even maybe just make out the Chequemis winding along Highway 99. So flipping beautiful people. I'm gonna go see if we can see the logging road that we tried to drive up the other day. So I think this is probably, in terms of uh, uniqueness, this is the most unique 
spot on the uh, on the third peak. It kind of changes your viewpoint up. So second and first, you get that really nice view of how sound. But I'm a big mountains view kind of guy. I'm as close to the mountains as I can get, and I get to see the uh, the city of Squamish kind of up close and personal here, which is kind of fun too. See all the little neighborhoods, all the rivers. I think this is a beautiful spot, so I'm gonna stop right here, and this is gonna be my first beer drinking spot. So roll the beer drinking music. One peak down, two more peaks to go. And two more beers to go. <laughs> Well, this is up there with one of those horrifying views. It's beautiful right here. I can see the whole city, but that is a very steep cliff. I don't know how people rock climb. Look at the size of this cliff face. It's just giving me the heebie-jeebies. The heebie-jeebies. Yeah, I'm out of here. That's where we just came from, Third Peak. And we weave down there through the forest, wrapping around that big open kind of cliff slot in there. And I think the proper second peak summit is right up there, and that's where we get to see how sound. <laughs> so here we are at the top of uh, the second peak. Definitely um, the best view of the three. A little less of Gerbaldi in the range in the background, but still pretty darn good. Definitely almost regretting not cooking the salmon on this peak versus the first peak, but doesn't matter. It was still amazing. Uh, this is uh, this is totally beauty. I see a little firing down there. It looks like someone had a fire at some point um, on the rocks. Uh, time to crack a beer. Uh, I know I said uh, I know I said I was having a beer on every peak, so I'm gonna crack I'm gonna crack beer number two. Cheers. If you're drinking along with me at home, bottoms up. I said I wasn't cooking, but I didn't say I wasn't eating. Not cooking, but I'm cutting. Super simple. Got the board up here. Look at that. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's a perfect summit lunch. You might be thinking, James, this is ridiculous. Why are you having charcuterie at the top of the mountain? And honestly, this isn't that complicated. Cheap crackers, cheap cheese, a couple half rotten grapes. It's not that fancy. I just love eating off this piece of wood, uh, piece of wood thing that I found uh, recently. So. Gonna enjoy this beer, gonna enjoy this cheese, gonna enjoy these crackers, and most importantly, gonna enjoy this view. Cue the beer drinking and cheese eating music. I've seen the view from the first peak before. We're about to go there after this. Third peak was great, it was the highest, pretty expansive, the 360, but from the top of this, you get a lot of the same view. Um, and you get a lot of house sound. So I think second peak is definitely the best view if you're gonna come to this park. Second peak is the hike to do. In terms of cheeses, Balderson's cheddar number one, normal cheddar number two, Havarti number three. Crackers, Triscuits all the way, baby. Those Triscuits, mm. And uh, beers, I mean, I only had Budweiser, so I can't really compare them, but there's your comparison for the day. All right, beer two done. And peak two done. So. Next step, that was delicious by the way. <laughs> uh, next step, we go to the first peak. We have the third beer. And I think we just walk down this way. Uh, I don't see any cliffs yet. We got a little ladder section here. The trail gets super fun. Um, I didn't know it got this technical relatively technical in between. There's lots of these chains and you're climbing up some rocks and down some rocks and it gets steep. So it looks like there's a ladder we have to climb up for the next portion here. So we'll give it a go. It's not associated with the BC parks, but lots of people are doing it. So this is how they connect. Alrighty, here goes nothing. Holy cow. 
This is fairly exciting. So that was the ladder, quite steep. They said that was the worst part, so I'll check out this next part there. They got a rope. If at any point this gets too exposed, I'll call it a day. But I'm feeling pretty comfortable here. You go up this thing, there's no way. There's no way I'm getting up that. I don't think I got any grip on that rock. Nothing. Huh. So I was actually attacking it from the wrong way. So it was a good thing that I stuck to my, uh, you know, my feeling of uncomfortability. The ladder all seemed well and good, but I got worried about that. And uh, it's over this way. So I went up, I initially went up this way and tried to climb up that rock face, but where we're going is actually basically once you get up the ladder, you turn to the left and then there's kind of like a chimney on the back of the chief that, that you can climb, which isn't so bad. I'm not sure if you can tell how steep this is, but Deep. Whoa. Small wonder this is not part of BC Parks. Thank you to whoever put these iron bars in the rocks. They're very helpful. Your second peak there. You climb basically down through that uh, through that little rivet there. You come up and you climb up the side of this rock. Don't try and climb over the top of that rock like I did. Come up the rock here. So I made that mistake. Um, you probably could get up that way, but honestly, if it was slippery, yeah, that was not that was not that easy. So now we're gonna pop out, turn around, and we'll be at the normal chief summit where we can stop for another pint celebrating hitting 100 subscribers Monday of last week. That was awesome. But that might be like two weeks by the time this video is posted. So thank you to all you guys who are subscribing. I honestly, I really, really appreciate it and I'm happy you're enjoying the content. Let me know in the comments if there's, if there's certain stuff you're liking, certain stuff you're not liking, you know, what you wanna see. I'm figuring it out, you're figuring it out, but thank you for watching. Um, really appreciate that. One last time, let's turn on that beer drinking music and we'll finish this can off. That was a fail. <laughs> Total fail. Well, beer three is complete. Uh, first peak's complete. Second was awesome. Third was awesome. And now we're headed down. Uh, I'll let you know how long it was by the time we get down there. I know it usually takes me about 20 minutes to get down from here, so probably will end up being about, uh, what did I say it was, two right now, I start at 11.08, it's 2.08, so it's been three hours, probably all of the three peaks with the huge break it took at the top, top took me like three and a half hours, so pretty, pretty chill amount of time. Uh, I'm gonna get, gonna get running down. <laughs> I'm back to the bottom and that was awesome. Um, the three peaks were great. Second peak was definitely my favorite. Um, third was awesome. First was also awesome. Those beers were good. I'm not the biggest fan of beers while hiking. I like to be super coordinated, but it was fun to mix it up. But like I said, celebrating 100 subscribers by having three beers on three different peaks. Anyways, um, I'm gonna take my shoes off. I'm, uh, I'm pretty dog. I'm gonna take my shoes off, have a quick nap, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I think I need like an hour nap. Uh, or something like that, rested legs. Then, uh, then I think I'm gonna hit the river because uh, it hasn't been raining for a while, so the river's probably shaping up. Uh, anyways, that was killer. I'm gonna climb on into the, uh, the hut here, get some fresh air, do some exercise, and I'll see you guys next time. Won't be long, I promise.